Ladies and gentlemen, what's going on? Welcome back to another Brick in the Mall. Last time, we placed down some vending machines, some ATMs, some more plant plots to... Uh, plot, 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 plant plots? Plant pots, jeez, to make the store look, or to make the mall look a little bit better. And we have also started building our new convenience store, which is basically going to house all the food items which was in uh, Bound Mart, but have gone now. So, let's set this entire place here, not to store, to storage. Like, oh, I have to start inside there, like so. And then this one here is going to be the actual store. I don't have a name for the store just yet, but uh, I'll think of something. It'll probably just be something something weird like the corner convenience store. I guess that, that works. I mean, it is in a corner, and it's conveniently placed in the corner as well. My goodness, placing all of these squares. Oh. You know what would be neat is if there was a fill function. There is... I'm so stupid. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so... Oh, I'm so dumb. Let's manage this one. This is going to be called... Uh, corner Convenience. Or is it Convenience? I think it's Convenience. Corner Convenience. And then down here, I'll manage storage. And I'll call this corner storage. Cool, just like that. Okay, so now back into manage. We need to manage this one. Sign a storage. Uh, and we're going to get it open quite early. Six until ooh, what if we go like ten o'clock? Yeah. Okay, but we need objects. So what stuff are we missing? Whoops. You're not making any progress at the time. Yeah, there's more bus transport as well. Um, so it just basically allows you to build more bus stops. I really have no need for that. And yeah, we don't have any of the, uh, any offices. So I'm not interested in doing that. I know it's kind of cheaty, but we unlocked everything before. So there's no need to do it. Uh, need. Speaking of needs. Uh, right. Convenience store. So we need bottled, so soda water, bottled water, breakfast cereal. That's three. Uh, milk and ice cream. They have to go in freezers. So that's five. And dairy as well. So six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and those are actually in there. So twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Okay, so fifteen, sixteen, and out of those sixteen, three of them have to be tables, and three of them have to be fridges. Yeah, wait. Wait, yeah. No, four of them have to be fridges. So 16, including three tables and four fridges. I actually don't think we've got enough room, but let's give it a go. Uh, so we're going to have the fridges at the back here. Uh, fridge, there we go. Can I, how do I rotate that? Okay, they, they're just sort of stuck like that. Two, uh, three, four. That's fine. And then maybe as people walk in, or maybe we'll have the table sort of like here for the fresh stuff. Uh, like that, yeah. So that's what seven. Okay, then we just need to make make it up with this. Uh, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, uh, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Doesn't really make much sense there. We need two more. Two more. That's what we need. I mean, we could line some up along there, I guess. But then having it quite far out of the way... Ooh. But then again, I don't really want to block off the queues too much. Although I do want to block off the queues... Like here. Maybe we put one there. So hang on. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I could put one there, but that's going to look stupid. 16, I guess. Not quite ideal, but I think it's alright. So, here we're going to have uh, fresh fruit, fresh vegetables, and fresh bread. In the fridges here, we're obviously going to have... Ooh. Oh, yeah, so the frozen vegetables. Frozen pizzas, because they get their own section. Uh, milk, dairy, and ice cream. I missed out the ice cream somehow. How can I miss out ice cream? That's like the most important one. Okay, then along here we're going to have 
Oh my goodness, there's so many. Soda, bottled water, and juices. Okay, they can go on there, because that's three here. Soda, 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 bottled water, and juices. And then along here, we've got, uh, like, canned food, breakfast cereal, sliced bread, uh, rice and pasta. And over here, we got coffee and tea, and also pet food. And then here, we have ice cream okay coffee convenience is all set up it's currently a.m. no it's yeah currently a.m. so I'm gonna pause it while I get my staff set up here we go so first of all I'm gonna hire some stock clerks uh, just get the speed and some patience in there as well uh, we'll have the first guy in for eight hours I guess but we're also gonna have a second stock clerk in during the middle of the day I mean, how long is the store open for 16 hours. So yeah, that's two eight-hour shifts. That works out quite well. In fact, let's... One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so we've got a potential of five cashiers uh, per hour. So let's get the first lot in uh, during the beginning of the day. Not a lot of sociability in any of them, but whatever. Let's say like four cashiers in the beginning of the day. Uh, you. Okay, so that's four. Then obviously we're gonna need some to close. Oh, I like you. So let's have you start at uh, two. Then have you start at two. And then we'll have you, you start at two as well. Okay, so that's three. And then I'm gonna get like an extra one cashier during the middle of the day. So starting at 10. Okay, we'll see how that goes, but that means uh, corner convenience is all ready to go. We just got to get some flooring in there. Um, I like how it's set to fill now. Good job, me. Do that. <laughs> That's, that makes it so quicker. Why didn't I do that to begin with? Let's have a green flooring. Why not? But then I guess if we go to draw, then we can draw it on the actual doors. That makes sense. Uh, and then pick those as well. Cool. Okay, corner convenience, all set up, ready to go. Just waiting on, well, the stock's already here. Just waiting on the actual staff to turn up. Let's see how well it goes. I'll be very interested to see if it's any good or not. Um, the setup is a bit janky. Again, we're using a lot of room just for the checkout, but then I think if we're gonna have stock clerks in all day, which I think is what we've got currently got it set up to be. Uh, yeah, we're gonna have stock clerks in all day, which could be a good thing, could be a bad thing. We'll soon find out. Okay, stock clerks are ready to work, and there's only one. It's going to take him a while, <laughs> but they are. He is going uh, balls to the wall. Okay, so while that's going, let's try and set up a camera store because I believe that's all we need to do. Although what I would like to do is check out uh, Cam'smetics here or Dazzling Beauty. It was called Cam'smetics, no longer. Uh, okay, yeah, cool. That's good. That's very good. Okay, people are coming into the corner shop, which is great. Corner convenience, or whatever it's called. Okay, awesome. Awesome source. Right. I need to set up an arcade, not an arcade, a camera store. Uh, so, ideally, the stock room is going to just come down here. Maybe wiggle it in like that. That's, that might be kind of cool. So, let's start doing that. Oh, not objects. Walls. Uh, so down like that, and then in like that, yeah, and we'll grab a staff door, to put there, and then also another one there, so that they can actually get in there, and that gives them somewhere to build for the time being as well. Okay, so let's think, I mean, if we take a look at our need, like with the cameras, where are we? Electronics and appliances, cameras. Yeah, we can we can sell this quite easily. Um, in fact, we could probably move our games consoles into here, which would be pretty cool. I mean, where's our current game store? I think that's this one, isn't it? How well is this store actually doing? Wow, corner convenience has already filled up. Jeez. Oh, ho, ho. wow, we. Okay. Oh, holy smokes. Okay, um, 
Right, probably need to re rethink that. Although it looks like someone hasn't turned up for work because there's only three cashiers on. You know what I'm going to have to do? I think it's literally going to have to be... Um, where's the guy that starts at 10? It's going to just have to be five people for five cashiers at all times. <laughs> That's insane. Uh, starts at two. Then hire another cashier. You. And start at two. Wowee. That is pretty mental. 190 people leaving because wow okay should have seen it coming really <laughs> okay maybe corner convenience isn't going to stay here maybe corner convenience has to move to this section we'll see might end up doing that next time but i do want to get actually that might be a cool idea because then we can have this set up as the arcade never mind i want to get this camera store set up i don't think it has to be too big but let's go ahead and get it set up with like two checkouts that that would be lovely right there wouldn't it Let's maybe move that wall so that we can put it in there. That might be neat. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. Walls. We'll move the walls like that. And then we'll remove... Oops. Remove the walls and objects here. You know what? How's our, like, uh, media store doing? Take a look. Minus 39%. We'll ignore the fact that that exists. So let's take a look at our overall, overall profit then. Yeah, that looks that looks good. 33.1%. Uh, 33 a year, a day. Jeez. Good job, Dale. Speak speak words, please. Okay, let's grab our checkout counter and put it there. Are we going to need more than one checkout counter? Probably not. Um, so I think that'll be fine, really. And then, like, honestly, we don't need to do much for a camera store, you know? It's probably just going to be a case of putting the wall down there. <laughs> That's pretty much going to be it. And just filling it up with some cameras. Uh, oh, maybe we can move the door, so it's a double door. So let's put a wall there, remove that wall, and then grab a, a double door, and plonk it there. Yeah, okay, cool, I'm liking that. And really, that's like all we need to do. It's, it's sad, but it's true, that's like, that's done, that's it. Got a camera store right there. Um, and you know what? I'm actually gonna. Oh, I'd actually. Oh, I was gonna call it Cameron's Cameras. But that sounds stupid. Plus, we've already got like three stores named after Cameron. Uh, so we'll probably probably not do that. <laughs> sorry, Cameron, buddy, if you're still watching. I'm sorry. But this is not gonna be your store. Okay, manage store. Oh, if we don't actually. Yeah, if we don't assign a storage yet, it won't be classed as a store and we won't start losing money. Uh, corner convenience without leave. Wow. We're going to have to move corner convenience. Where is that guy sick? You are. You're sick. Are there rats nearby? Pick a storage for your business. Back in this area. Sorry. I know I should. Wait, pick a... That. Okay. Customers are leaving the center because of filthiness. Okay, so because we're so busy, it's getting really, really filthy. So, manage the maintenance center. We're going to get more janitors. Um, sort by janitor. Holy smokes. How many do we have? One, two, wait, and then sort by starting out. So one, two, three, four. Four people per hour. So I'm going to hire, like, more people per hour, basically. Uh, we'll hire two more for each uh, section. Okay. So start at one, and hire another janitor. Start you at 9, hire another janitor. EU, start you at 9, hire another janitor. Uh, you, start you 8 hours afterwards, which would be 5. And also you, 5. That brings us to 6 janitors per hour. That's quite a lot of money. Um, and we, yeah, we've got 3 people leaving because the, the store is quite filthy. My bad. Okay, let's get the camera store finished because it's now that sort of time. People are still leaving corner convenience. Okay, we're going to have to fix that next time. <laughs> but until then, uh, let's get this set up. Uh, let's put some cameras on here. You know what, we're even going to sneak a little bit of MP3 action at the back. Just so it looks different. Uh, cameras, and then we'll put some MP3 back there, why not? 
Or maybe with tablets or smartphones or something. I don't know. No, we'll, we'll put we'll put MP3 players. Okay, so let's go in here. Let's grab a stock clock. We only need one, really. Uh, do we have any which has like a good stock clock skill? Not really. Probably you, but your speed is quite low. Let's go for you. Uh, obviously, we're only going to need you for like three hours. Uh, cashier. Okay. Lots of sociability, please. No one. You're like the best person there, but you're not exactly great. <sighs> okay, you, I guess. <laughs> uh, and for now, yeah, well, um, hmm. Have you open at 8 and close at 6? So, like, uh, so if you start at 8, you work for 5 hours, then I'll grab another cashier that does the same. 5 hours, but starting at uh, 1. There we go. Now what we need to do, is, since the store is open, we can actually assign the storage there. And we'll call this Camera Land. I like it, that'll do. And we'll call this Camera Stockpile. There we go. That's where I'm going to store up all the stock, uh, cameras. Okay, now what's left to do is to put the floor tiles in. Obviously, we've got the steel here, or I'd like to call it the steel, for the thing, the thing more, Bob. I guess we'll go for nice red carpet, because it's like one of the premium stores, I guess. <laughs> okay, so that is going to do it for today, guys. Jeez. Maybe during peak hours we got a lot more, um, a lot more janitors in. Or maybe it's because they have to go too far to get to a recycling garbage area. Because every time they clean tiles, they produce garbage bags. I think after every eight. So maybe we have to give them a better way of getting to the garbage areas out back. That's probably what it could be. Like I could put one here instead of parking, or here. I don't know. Hmm, I really don't know. Maybe here. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so thank you all very much for watching this episode of Another Brick in the Mall. Join me next time when we hopefully figure out our garbage situation. Well, not quite the garbage situation, but the the filthiness situation. Because during the evening and during the night, they can clean it up quite quickly, quite well. Uh, but during the day... There we go. If we put that in like that... No? There we go. No? Okay. That was really weird. Yeah, during the day, I think that's where we're going to run into issues. And we've got... Yeah, see, she, look, she made a garbage bag. And she's now got to go all the way through the store to get to this one. And I think that's what's causing so much delays. is because they don't have good access to a garbage area. Okay, like I said, thank you very much for watching. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.